All right, hydroponics update 2021. So, as you can see, all the dirt is gone. Everything is hydroponic. So this was the existing wall. Um, we're starting to put strings up to kind of support the uh, all the young seedlings. Um, so this is a four inch pipe and that's gonna be all tomatoes that will climb up the, the terrace there. And then this is just copied on the other side. Uh, so I've got containers for each wall. They'll have their own separate water running. So these are the existing tiny little five watt um, pumps. And I'm doing the same thing on this side for now. On this side, I needed a way thicker pipe. I mean, I need some good flow for tomatoes and you can see, I don't know if you can see in that. But it flows really awesome. I <laughs> So I, I searched all over. First I went with a bilge pump, and that wouldn't even get it up to this height. I mean, it like just stopped before there. And then I tried some uh, automotive windshield wiper fluid motors. Those didn't work. It just kept cutting out. So I did find, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in all the liquid. It's, uh, I think you can see that. It's a, uh, I think it's an aquarium pump. But the interesting thing is it will run on 12 volt. But it'll only go up three feet. But if you run on 24 volt, it'll go up 10 feet. And I looked at all over Amazon. And I'm like, that's interesting. So right now it's running on the power supply. But what I'll do when I, I mean, right now I've got AC. I always do AC first to get things stabilized. And then, uh, so if I need 24 volt, I got a, a buck converter. I'll just buck 12 volt up to 24 volt, and that'll run fine off of solar. So, um, I think that's it. I mean. I kind of like this, you know, three wall thing because it kind of supports itself. I might put some more braces up. You know, you can see on this pipe, I've just got a, a two by four with some uh, plastic strap to support that. Um, these are just two by two strips that I, um, construction adhesive, attach those and the, and the zip ties are just holding that. I might leave those on there. Um, I think that's a bit, oh. And here's everything. Um, instead of going to foam, so you can see these tiny little, these are ceramic pebbles. So I got small ones and then I got these bigger ones. Um, this was like 40 bucks on Amazon. It's a giant bag. So since the roots have to get through the bottom and you got to cut a hole, I figured I'd put big ones in the bottom and then these tiny ones on top just to kind of give the smaller plants some more support. So that's another change for this year. I think that's everything for now. Um, so two walls are running. This one's about ready. I'm, I'm still waiting on some pumps from Amazon, so I can't start this one up yet, but it'll take me like 10 minutes to get those running. Um, and so the other thing is like, this was kind of a kludge. Like that was an afterthought, so it kind of like loops around. When I built this new one, it just kind of went right direct, right into the side there. There's no like unnecessary piping. So that is the update.